Renee Karen here, and this is going to be a video to show you how to use ExpressScribe. And if you don't have it on your computer yet, just go and type in ExpressScribe, and it'll usually come up the first one on the list. And it's from NCH Software. This is one of the most popular programs used by transcriptionists especially you transcriptionists that are just starting out. So you just download it. You don't need to purchase the Pro Edition. I've never used the Pro Edition, so if anybody has questions about the Pro Edition, I can't help you. I just downloaded the free version. So once you've downloaded it and installed it onto your computer, you can come back to some of these technical things. They have very good technical support, they have screenshots, and uh, frequently asked questions. So you can check over here for different things like, you know, the, the different foot pedals that you might need, the headsets that you might need, and uh, that kind of thing. So once you have it on your computer, use these windows. You just want to double click on it. And it'll open up. And I have some files in here now. These are files that I use for my videos, which I can actually probably take them out. And then this is a recording that I did narration to a video that I did the other day. So to get your files into here, there's a couple of ways of doing it. You can load it. You can go file. Let's see. Load an audio CD. Load a dictation file. That's usually what it is, is loaded if you're doing it from Express Scribe itself. Me personally, I go to my file and let's see, I would go to my videos and I would look for the audio that I want to use. So here's an FI, SFI promo audio and all you have to do really is right click transcribe with expressscribe and then it'll open the audio for you and then you can see down here it processed it so for transcription I usually leave it at a hundred percent if the person is talking slow and you want to get your file done faster just jack the speed up to where you're comfortable with it this increases your volume here that's your playback volume. And I've never used a lot of the features that are on here. I've never had to sync anything. You see how I open my files. I don't load them up through ExpressScribe. I go to the file and I right click and transcribe. I've never used the doc, the dispatch, the done. These I believe have to do with email and Word. You know, these two here, email and Word. I've never used those. Scribe Mini, uh, let's click on that and see what happens. It makes it little. That's all it does is it makes it little. And then you just bring it, click on it and bring it back up. There's different options in here. There's an upgrade and there's a suite. I've really never used any of those things before. Now, the options part. This is what I have mine set at on a default. I have my volume adjust. I don't know if I can make this window any bigger. I don't think I can. No. So I have my auto adjust at weak. I have the high bass at 500. My default slow playback is 50. Fast playback is 150. My rewind and fast forward are at 1500 with 1000% thousand percent at constant speed. That's what I do for that. For the pedals, 
you can, once you plug your foot pedal into your computer, whoops, <laughs> set up, use your control, wigger, control wizard. Here's hotkeys if you don't want to use the keyboard. I mean, <laughs> use, um, oh, what is it? Oh, yeah, foot pedal. This is instead of a foot pedal, you would use the keys. Incoming files, this just, I've never used this. If you have people sending you files, like a client is going to send you file, I believe this like automatically loads it up. Types of files that you can use, I don't, never bother with these codex settings. Speech to text, I've never enabled the speech recognition. Disk usage, and then your display. This has to do with time stamping, I believe, and then that's just an other. So let's cancel all of that out. To do a time stamp, if you're working with Word, because you can you can transcribe right inside of this program, I believe. Um, I I've never done it. Options, tools, Word line counter. You can do that. There's your control file. Open a default word processor. So let's see what happens. Okay, this is going to open my word. That's just a template. Now, if you want to do, if you have to do time stamping, there's a way to do it. And I have very rarely use it. I very rarely use it. So let's see if I can figure out how to do it. I think it's control T. I think it's control T. So let's see something. Now, let's see if I do control T and then control V. There's the timestamp right here. That's what that is. So, if you have to timestamp your document every so many seconds or a minute or whatever, that's all you do is while you're playing it, just stop it or pause it and do control T and then control V paste it into your document. And that pretty co pretty much covers it as far as the basics with Express Scribe. If you need to get into anything more in depth, I would suggest that you go to their website, which I showed you in the beginning, and look through some of their frequently asked questions. Or hit YouTube or Daily Motion and look for other videos that have to do with maybe more in-depth operation of Express Scribe, but this gives you the basics. And that's even with general transcription, as many years as I did general transcription, that's all the further I needed to go is just what I showed you. Okay, that's it for this video.